is time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2016 SJ Port Challenge is dedicated to your friend and ours, Paul Wickstein. Brought to you by Brewcraft USA. I make Gladfield Malting, Yakima Valley Hops, The Grain Bill, Brewers Exchange, Cake Kingdom Homebrew Supply, Hiraki Homebrew, and a special thanks to our silver sponsors. Hey everybody, Maine Brew Guy. I'm in a ho hotel right now, and um, these are the only two, there's going to be two reviews from this hotel, and um, I just wanted to get these reviews going because my schedule is kind of packed. So, um, the first one we're going to do is the um, chocolate caramel oatmeal milk stout. And the ID number is 32 Romeo 53 uh, 75 Victor. And it was, there's um, a note here at the bottom, please let the stout warm up to room temperature, which I have already done. Dregs there I'll leave behind, but we're enough with that. Nice khaki head, dark. I mean, dark, dark, dark. I'm not getting anything off this beer. Uh, I mean, any light off of this beer. Um, nothing shining through, so it's pretty dark. Um, tight bubbles, decent carbonation. All right, let's get a. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I am getting a lot of that um, caramel. It almost disguises itself as something else. But there's definitely caramel in there. Um, yeah, mostly caramel is what I'm getting, but there's um, almost like a licorice kind of quality to it. And almost a caramel riding on a little bit of licorice. Uh, the black licorice, but ever so faint. Alright, let's go in for the. Oh, you know what? I forgot my paperwork. Okay. <laughs> now I get the paperwork going. Alright, um, went off camera just a moment ago uh, just to kind of gather my thoughts a little bit on the aroma. I'm kind of sticking to that. I'm only getting the uh, caramel and licorice. Um, dark fruits, perhaps, um, kind of a bourbon-esque quality to it. Okay, here we go. Chocolate. A little bit of, a little bit of like a uh, smoked malt almost. You might find in a porter. <clears throat> Decent amount of carbonation. Might be even a little bit, a little on the high side for a, for a stout, but uh, barely, if it is at all. That might just be my opinion. Mm. I can see what you mean, though, warmed up. It does have a lot of, a lot of subtle characters. What a big beer for, um, it's got a big beer feel for 3.2%. Very impressive. It even has, um, even has that alcohol kind of, it's not a burn, it's not a warmth, but it feels like there's alcohol in the end. Um, <clears throat> like you would get on a, on a, a stout with probably, you know, two, two to three more percent higher ABV than this. Hmm. I 
does dry out a little bit, but the mouthfeel is um, pretty big for 3.2%. I would not guess that that's what this beer is. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. I can see why this made it um, to the next round. A lot of um, a lot of flavors playing in here. I'm getting the dark roasted malts and getting a little bit of the chocolate and getting a hint of licorice on the uh, on the underlying underneath the caramel. Um, I'm getting the mouthfeel of uh, oats uh, and um, maybe I'm, I, you know I'm not getting too much of the lactose and. But I mean, and then I'm getting a little, I am actually getting a little bit of warmth the longer I talk. It's ever so slight though, which is surprising for 3.2%. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this beer and I'll cut out at the very end and give you my final thoughts. So I've been uh, sitting here, so I've, so I've been sitting here enjoying this beer, just sipping on it, thinking about the beer. And... Um, yeah, it's really good. It, um, the caramel doesn't carry over on the flavor. It's it's mostly on the aroma. Uh, what I get on the flavor more is the um, you know the dark malts. Uh, the you know I wrote down here uh, chocolate, coffee, toffee. Um, the aroma was more of a almost like a caramel licorice kind of. It almost felt like there was. Um, Vanilla extract added to the um, to the beer um, it had that same kind of character you get in vanilla extract. So I don't know if it was vanilla beans added. And by no means am I saying this is negative. Um, that's just descriptors here. And um, you know I do notice the uh, lactose. Um, you know the longer it just I, uh, the longer I go between sips, I can feel the. Um, you know, the coating on the tongue, so to speak. Uh, the, the way this uh, beer is balanced, it's, uh, it's fairly well balanced. Uh, I, I, I do like the aroma, and uh, I know it's hard to carry sometimes the aromas into the flavors. Um, it is a different beer when you drink it uh, than, than what you're smelling. But just sitting here smelling it, it's, um, it's strong uh, um, vanilla extract or the vanilla beans is what I'm getting now um, with, the, you know, what I thought was licorice was the vanilla beans uh, or the um, vanilla extract or whatever you added. And that's really lifting a lot of this aroma profile out of here. Um, <clears throat> got a little bit of a, uh, a twang on the end that, and I say twang on, on just about every video, but. Um, this is, you know, they're all kind of different kind of twang. Some, some are um, astringencies, some are, um, uh, you know, you know uh, some sort of a metallic kind of pinch. Uh, some are um, from the malts themselves. And this one here is from the malts. Uh, I'm getting, you know, some of that roast malted bite, um, which sometimes can be mitigated by when you add the roasted malts in, and um, or you're using de-husked malts uh, for the darks for the dark malts, um, you know some small tweaks on this, and uh, absolute perfection. Um, it scores high anyway, obviously, uh, but that is really all I can offer to the brewer. A very very good beer. Um, I'm enjoying it. it I, yeah, I do agree with you that it's a better beer served completely warm because of all the complexities that you get when, you, when you're drinking this. So cheers to the brewer. Uh, good luck, sir or ma'am. Thank you.